The purpose of the arch section tab is to create a panoramic image for tracing the inferior alveolar nerve canal in mandibular implant cases. It can also generate cross sections for making precise measurements along the arch. The rendering windows in this tab display a large axial view, as well as a pano view below, and cross sections on the right that correspond to the green lines in the arch spline. This layout can be configured using the layout tool, including a new custom layout tool that provides complete design control to the user. This pano is currently in the slice mode and may look different than the typical x-ray pano. In order to trace the nerve, the pano will need to be in slice mode to follow the nerve canal in 3D. Now, we will go through the typical workflow for creating an arch spline and tracing the nerve. First, adjust the range and orientation of the scan using the reorientation tool. You can rotate the scan to ensure that the occlusal plane is leveled horizontally if necessary. Next, adjust the capture area using the green lines to ensure that the full mandible up to the TMJ is included. Once you have finished with the adjustments, click on the tool again to return to the previous window. The InVivo software predicts an initial arch spline based on density along the arch. This arch spline may need adjustment as all patients are different. You can hide the arch spline shape by clicking on the arch spline tool or create a new arch spline by clicking again and selecting new. To create a mandibular arch, start by scrolling up through the axial cross sections until you can see the condyle. Place the first point behind the condyle and place the other points along the mandible. If the nerve canal is visible, you can use it as a reference to place your points. In generating the arch spline, you should place five to seven points along the arch but you can include as many as you'd like. After placing the last point, right-click to finish the object. After finishing the arch spline, you can make adjustments by moving the points to better display the nerve canal or by changing the width of the capture area. Next, to trace the nerve, click the New Nerve button in your control panel. Use the Pano Slice view to place points along the nerve canal. At the end of the canal, use the cross-section windows to trace the movement through the mental foramen. Place one point inside and the last point outside for the nerve to exit. Right-click to finish. The nerve can now be viewed in 3D in the other tabs as well. You can modify the nerve by selecting the nerve and clicking Modify. Select a particular node either in the drop-down menu or by clicking on it in order to change its diameter, delete it, or adjust its position. Additionally, you can set the diameter for the entire nerve by selecting All from the drop-down menu. If you wish to analyze both mandibular and maxillary anatomy, you can now set up two different arch spline shapes by using the maxillary arch toggle. Here, you can create a new arch spline again, this time tracing the shape of the maxillary arch. This is used to create the most accurate measurements of anatomy in each arch, without having to redraw the arch spline. The arch section tab can also be used to view anatomy in multiple cross sections traversing the dental arch. When doing so, first make sure that the arch spline is parallel to the arch at the area of interest, and adjust if necessary. This means that the green cursor lines will be perpendicular to the arch, which ensures the cross sections are buccal lingual at this location. This is crucial to display an accurate amount of bone and to avoid oblique slicing. There are various options to modify the parameters of your cross sections in the control panel. You can also temporarily reorient the cross section windows using the new Rotate Cross Section tool in your toolbar. This tool allows you to rotate only the cross-section windows without making any changes to patient orientation across the rest of the software. Click the tool to activate it, and then use the orange rotation arrows to reorient the cross-sections. Click the tool again if you wish to return to the original orientation. Using these customized cross-sections, we can make measurements with the tools in the toolbar, such as precisely determining the distance from the implant to the nerve.
If you have any unanswered questions or if you would like additional information, consult the InVivo reference manual. If you do not have a copy of the manual, you can download a copy using the link in the description below this video. If you have further questions, please call CABO Support at 888-275-5286.